That's my favorite, my favorite, my favorite insult is to say someone's pointlessly tall. <laughs> like, everyone's surprised. It's funny because I go to conventions and everyone's surprised that I'm not like tiny sometimes. Like you're a lot bigger than I thought you'd be. And it's because like everyone I know is 6'4 or taller. Meh. Like Owen's like 6'5. You're like what, 6'3, 6'4? 6'2. 6'2. Yeah, like everybody, like Jay's like 6'5. Like yeah. everybody's just way taller than I am. So like I'm 6'1. And they're like, what are you like 6'1? I'm like, yeah, I'm 6'1. <laughs> but I'm not as tall as everybody else. Yeah, you're the shortest guy on a basketball on a, on NBA a basketball team. team. Yeah, exactly. Who's still yeah. tall. Exactly. This group of like Duncan nerds that I have. <laughs> they're all my friends. Um, hey everybody. Welcome to our first. Our first ever Legions Imperialis game. Hell yeah. I'm so excited. And you painted up a weirdo list. A, a super, well, it's not a weirdo list. I think this is a great example for this first game of like getting in your first like head to head. Each of you kind of maybe split the box set kind of game. Yep. Because you have basically the Solar Auxilia box. Yeah, it's the Solar Ox infantry yeah. with like the Sentinels and the Ogrens, uh, but no tanks. Because it's just the box. It's just, just that the box. box. That's, that's the, you grabbed that the last time you were here. Yep. And I also had some extra points from Aeronautica, so you got a couple of Thunderbolts yep. and a Knight. Yep. And that's like a legit like 600 point list. That is the smallest list you could play with a Titan. With a Titan. And that's what we were. That's yeah, what we we're aiming at, basically. 30% of 16, uh, 600 is 180 points, which is exactly, exactly on the nose. one Questorus Knight, right. which is perfect. Um, so you painted up your, I guess, criminals, former criminals. Doing penal, no, current. They're currently doing, criminals. We're doing penal legion because when I dip into. <laughs> Uh, the Marines, it'll be Night Lords, and I figure who's going to ally with the Night Lords but a bunch of comics. <laughs> it's not my choice. Yeah, yeah. It's not my choice. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love yeah. that I love that you basically have a bunch of, like, dudes in orange jumpsuits Hell yeah. uh, as your as your conscripted military. Yep. Um, and I painted up my Sons of Horus. So right now you're loyalists, and I'm traitors. But you're loyalists in the way that you are not really loyalists to anybody. You're just going where you get dropped. Yeah, we, it's, <laughs> they go where they tell you to. And what's scarier, the enemy in front of you or the Night Lords behind you're you? You're the Horus Heresy last chancers. Yeah. This is the, like, you can just fight for anybody. Uh, it might even be point. no chancers the for no these guys. <laughs> Zero <laughs> chancers. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got, you've, got, uh, you've got your wind-up Laz rifles from the dupe yeah. from Future Ram. It's like, yeah. they're riding right on their Scooty Puff Juniors. That's right, yeah. Fighting the ball aliens. So we're going to play a 600-point game. Yep. Uh, we're going to roll up mission as normal. We do the whole process for playing. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, we'll throw it down. So we'll show you the lists. We'll show you the uh, the table. I painted up some new terrain for this and we'll get this underway. All right. So here is Rob's 600 points of Solar Auxilia. What do you got? Uh, so running the Solar Auxilia sub cohort, sort of like the, the basic uh, detachment for them. Uh, so we've got the, the Legate Commander. Uh, I've got the Athan Heavy Sentinel Patrol. Uh, the Charonite Ogrens, uh, got two Laz Rifle Tercios, uh, so that upgrade also too, have they? upgrades. They've got the, uh, Auxiliaries with Flamers, so two stands each. Sweet. Uh, and then I've got the Velatar Storm Section, uh, two Thunderbolts, uh, each upgraded with the Avengers? Avenger Bolt Cannons yeah. on each of them. Yeah. And then I've got a Knight Errant allied in at 30%, or 30, uh. Yeah, 30%, 30 of the yep. That takes in. Uh, so he's got the, um, oh, it's the big melta cannon. The thermal lance. Yes, the thermal, the thermal lance. Yeah. And uh, then a chain sword and a heavy stubber. Sweet. So it is. 600 points, and this is super easy to make because it's basically just a couple planes, uh, a Titanicus uh, Questorus Knight, and one box of Solar Auxilia. Yeah, it comes in at 596. Perfect. And here is my Legio Demi Company, uh, or say Legion Demi Company, uh, of Sons of Horus. Uh, we've got the prerequisites, which is a um, Legion Command right there, hanging out with his banners and all of his uh, Legion tactical companies. So the tactical detachment has two upgrades, plasma rifles and missile launchers. Uh, and that is my first of my core choices. Second core choice over here is just a basic tactical company with an assault marine upgrade. And then dedicated transports of two rhinos with multi-meltas for the four stands of tactical guys to, to hang out in, because these guys are independent and don't need to ride because they're fast enough. Then I've got a flyer support choice of, two, it's basically one upgrade. So it's uh, a single Storm Eagle upgraded with a second Storm Eagle. And they have a transport capacity of 10, which means this whole detachment can hang out in there with the boss attached to them. So they're gonna be flying around the Storm Eagles. And last but not least, I have a heavy tank choice. Um, which is Kratos's, and the Kratos's have the, where's the big guns called? Um, a Melta Blast gun as their primary weapon, but they also have coaxial auto cannons, 
Uh, one has heavy bolters and auto cans, the other one has LAS cannons all around, so just four LAS cans mounted on it. And then my support choice is a Dreadnought Talon with two assault cannons and two LAS cannons uh, built into it. That's my 585 points. Sadly, if you could take one Dread instead of two, I could have 600 points, but close enough to 600 points of Sons of Horus. Now, all right, because we're playing a match play games, we're now into the select a mission part of the game. We've mustered our armies. So you get to roll a dice, I roll a dice, I roll a four. Two. All right, so four down, two across is going to be hold ground. Uh, we've set up our table. We're playing on a 40K scale mat, which is 60 by 44. So it's the right size, minus two inches per side. We're just gonna reduce deployment zones by two inches. Yeah. And let's check out hold ground. So hold ground is, there is a battlefield center and two other um, objective markers, each in like deployment zones. So we're gonna have six inch deployment zones instead of eight inch deployment zones. Uh, at the end of each round, you score two if you control the objective uh, in your own deployment zone, it's uncontested. Five if you get the middle one, sorry, uh, and nine if you, sorry, it's five if you get the one in your opponent's zone, it's uncontested, and nine if you control the center one, and it's uncontested. Uh, and that's it, so now let's determine our secondaries. We each get to roll 2d6 and select from two different ones. So I rolled that and that, and I'm not gonna look at what you rolled, because they're not revealed until later, Ooh. and you get to pick from the same list. So we're back after we've set up the table and deployed. All right, so here we are set up for hold ground. So we have objectives A, B, and C across here. You can see we have some large templates of ruins. The inner circumference, obviously, of the ruined buildings will be difficult terrain. Any intact buildings count as intact, and then you can take them off. Uh, once they are destroyed, if you want to occupy them and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to dice off now for deployment. Again, we're playing on the 40K size mat, so it's basically 5 by 44 uh, inches, which means that we're just taking 2 inches off our deployment zones, so 8-inch deployments become 6. I got a 2. 3. 3 it is. All right, so uh, you can choose deployment order, and we'll go detachment to detachment until we're deployed. Yep. All right, so initial deployment's done. I have my assault or my tactical detachment with my assault marines outside and the detachment of rhinos carrying the two stands of tactical marines. My dreadnought talent in the center here and my Kratos is on the flank. Opposing us, we have one of the Laz rifle tertios yep. uh, and the other one both flanking the knight, the Questorus knight, um, the uh, commander of course in the center so that he can hand out non-chain of command units or chain of command units, uh, special orders. Then we have the Ogren's uh, detachment and the heavy sentinels hanging out with the Axemen on the flank here, holding onto the whole base objective. Yes, sir. Now I, at the beginning, had to place as close to the center as possible my vital um, intelligence, which is on the central objective. Round one, we have to issue orders and then roll for initiative. Advanced now I also have to issue orders to the transported models over here, um, and also to my flyers and my unit in here. Oh, and you have an advanced deploy, a forward deployment. Yep. You get to make a basic move action, ignoring difficult terrain with your walkers. And... Seven inches. Now they have the walker rule, which means they ignore difficult train anyway. Anything else going through that will have their movement. So they're just gonna walk seven into the rubble. We're issued, so we do a reveal and roll for initiative. So my Kratos is have an advance order. My Dreadnought Talon has a march order. My assault marines, as they are independent, have an assault order, or sorry, a march order. March for the rhinos, but the tactical marines inside have an advance. Just have an advance because they have to, and I have, whoops, it should be an advance order because they can't first fire, an advance order for the guys inside. His tertio. Uh, has a march. Uh, the knight has an advance. His tertio. Has a march. Has a march. My ogrens have a march. My sentinels, sentinels. have a first fire. Whoa. And my, uh, actually my velatari have a march. And then my thunderbolts. Have an advance. An advance. Sweet. For round one, I rolled a three to a four. So you have the initiative on round one, which yes, means sir. you will move the first unit. Yes, is Velatari gonna march? Velatari, they're just gonna go into the building. Okay. Well, I'll have a 15 inch march, which is more than enough to get them in. Now the Civitas and Imperialis buildings have a detachment, uh, like basically they can hold one, uh, detachment control of one, so they can have one group of infantry inside. Yep. You issue an order to my Kratoses, and they are going to move. They wanna make sure that they're still able to hold this objective on round one. Uh, but they can move quite far, so they're going to chain out uh, the Laz cannon one, we'll stay within three. The other one will get slightly closer, and they'll stay within two of each other, like so. Is she going to run to the building? Yep. What, 15? Yep. There's no way. Yep. The base contact? No. Yep. 
15, <sighs> 15, <sighs> 15. And half of them can get in, so he makes it. Yep. So you're going to occupy the central building, which means uh, wow. just put just... four guys on top and then just go back in the card. Actually, I'll put the commander in there. So oh, and we're going to have to deal with that building now. So let's go with Dreadnoughts. They are going to walk, or sorry, march, and they go 10 because they are walkers. So they're going to go 8 plus 2 and just head to the edge. They ignore difficult terrain because they have the walker thing, but we remove their token because they are not firing the combat phase. I'm going to march my Ogrens, uh, who are also 5 inch, so 15 altogether. Yeah, because they have the infantry tag, which means they can go far. Yeah, yeah they're just going to run up into cover. I'm going to activate my tactical detachment. They are going to just stay inside their rhinos because that's what they do. But it's going to allow me to march my um, my independently operating assault marines. It's a bit awkward because they have to activate at the same time. And because the rhinos are a separate detachment, they don't move as kind of fluidly as I would want them to. They're just going to occupy this building for now. Detachment can't operate af like after these guys move and they have to leapfrog. They're on 15. Just stay behind the cover of this giant mesa. Yes, indeed. All these guys can go, and they're going to move uh, at a march as well. So they would double their speed, which I believe would take them to like 18. But they have to stay within six of their independent attachments. They're going to go over to here. And stay outside of the terrain. They could, actually, they can just go straight through it because they can double their move and they only have their speed going through difficult terrain. So they'll just end up in the buildings, staying within six. And then we can get some cover. Eight. He moves what, eight? Eight. Uh, actually, he'll just bring up the rear. Time for the Storm Eagles to go. Uh, they get placed on an edge because they're flyers and they can move up to 25. They're not gonna move their full 25 <laughs> because there's a unit of Thunderbolts who are keen to destroy these guys. Uh, so they are just going to move in, I think, to weapon range of this these guys in the building. Just coming in from my table edge, like so. Yep, yeah, Thunderbolts are coming in from the table edge. Uh, they are going to go quite a bit farther than your planes did. Uh, what's my range of guns? 16 and 22. So they can go and basically drop them about here. All right, uh, then we are done activating because I have, I think I committed everybody. So yep. it is on to the first fire step. You know how many first fire? Uh, got my Sentinels. Oh, you do have your Sentinels, that's right. Uh, so they've got the Sentinel missile launchers and multi-lasers. I don't think there's anything within 14 of them, uh, but maybe. Because the intact buildings block line of fire, so you definitely can't see these guys. Yeah, I can see, I can see two dreadnoughts. But it's like one guy can see. Yeah. So I can fire. There's an attack building, building here too, right? Dude. So you can definitely see the guy on the flank. Yeah. If yeah. you're within 14? Uh, if I'm within 14. Nothing in 14. Uh, 20 should do it though. One, one shot and one dread. Go for it. Yep. Miss. Okay. Advance. Advanced up. Yep. So you still have all well, the combat stuff. Nobody's in combat. And now we're into advancing fire. And your Thunderbolts are going to go first, try and shoot down my poor Storm Eagles. Heck yeah. Oh, the Avengers are in range. So 10 shots. Hitting on fives. Hitting on fives. Uh, these ones are rapid fire, though. Okay, so sixes explode and become extra hits. But they are light AT. Uh, so you get no AP against me. So that's going to be seven hits in total. Seven three-plus saves now for yes. my one wound Storm Eagles. Now, because my guys inside don't have jump packs, if they're destroyed, so are the guys inside automatically, which includes my commander. I fail one, two saves. So, so far the unit's dead, but I do have jink, which means on a five plus, I shrug these. I pass them Ooh. both, so they're both alive. All right. Barely. Uh, we're doing the twin linked uh, last cannons. Those are uh, 22 inch range, so definitely within. Sure. Uh, four shots. Are they accurate? Fours. Uh, these are, no. Okay. Uh, they are anti-tanks, so the AP will Are they Skyfire? Uh, they are Skyfire. Okay. Everything I got Skyfire. Got it, okay. So go for it. One? One hits, okay. uh, minus one AP. Minus one AP. So three plus goes to four plus. Nope, and you're not on first fire orders. Nope. So I jank on a five. Nope, so I'm gonna lose a Storm Eagle, which means one of my units is going to be destroyed. 
running four stands of dudes, which means I have to destroy, and I think you just get to choose. So I'm gonna destroy both my pla bolter stands. Actually, basically just all my bolter guys are gonna die. <laughs> and my plasma guns and my missile launchers will stay alive. Fired, so that's gone. Unless I had any more guns on those things. I'm almost wishing I took Sky Strike missiles on those. You take the bomber I, instead? I took the wing bombs instead. Right. Okay, well, they're basically safe from everybody else, so I can move on to somebody else shooting right now, which I yep. will. To get things started, I'm going to go with the Kratos. And the Kratos are going to try and obliterate these guys. Now, unfortunately, no my melta cannon's not quite in range, so I can't destroy the building itself. <laughs> although I, I will be doing that eventually. Um, so I'm gonna just shoot all my guns into them instead. Everything has a range, basically except for my gun, everything's in range because it's a 16 inch range. Yeah. So my main guns don't and my heavy bolters don't because they are 12 inches. But I took mostly last cannons and auto cannons. So let's start with the auto cannons. Uh, there is coaxial auto cannons, two sets, hitting on fives. So on fives into the building, uh, nothing. Then I have four sets of las cannons, Kratos las cannons, on fours with accurate. With accurate. So that's gonna be three hits, but you ignore my AP. So you get your four plus cover save for being in a building. Got three hits. Oof. Three stands. <laughs> We're basically collapsing the building around you. Uh, Laz rifle, put in. Put in a flamer. Yeah, keep flamer. the flamers happy. Yeah. Uh, so that was my Laz cannons. I've done my coaxial auto cannons. I have two auto cannon turrets, Kratos auto cannons, which means four more shots, which are also accurate. On fives this time, but I reroll my misses. There's too many so that's going to be one more hit. This one you do get an AP, but you have a cover save, so you don't care. Another four plus save. Save from the auto cannon. Nope, there's another one. And then it's just the heavy bolter, which actually might be within 12 because it's the front one. Once amount of heavy bolters is two shots on fives. One more. Holy moly. Yeah, and this one's just another cover save. That You're one good. I make. You'll have to make a morale check now on your Legate, who is two plus, so he's good, but they are broken because they're below half their current number of, or total number of stands, right? Yep. Which means no first fire orders for them anymore and no uh, march orders. Yeah, they're done. So it's back to you for another advancing fire. Uh, I've only got one left, which is the knight, but nothing's in range. Okay. He's only got in range, I'm over to my uh, Storm Eagle, and he's going to shoot into your planes. Ten more shot. We'll do it right now. Yeah. We forgot they had the interceptor rule, which means when they moved on in the movement phase, they would have gotten a snap fire one of their guns each. Yep. So ten more shots, but they're minus two to hit, so they only hit on sixes here. Yep. So you've got to maybe make some more saves, because this could have wiped out my Storm Eagles before I got to fire. Uh, One, so that's and it is rapid explode. fire. So it's two saves. Two saves, no AP. On threes, and then a five plus jink, and a five plus jink. I'm good. Forget the interceptor rule, and now I can shoot back and not feel bad. Tempest rockets and my wing-mounted last cannons into these space trucks. Uh -oh. uh, so my Tempest rockets uh, and my Vengeance launcher as well, which will only hit on sixes though, because it does not have sky fire. Uh, so it's gonna have two shots on fours into these guys, or sorry, two shots on sixes, because it's not Skyfire, I miss. Uh, then my wing-mounted LAS cannons will hit on fours, because they do have Skyfire. Uh, that's one hit at minus one. Uh, nope. Uh, no. And then uh, a jink, jink on a five. No, oh. so I got one of them down. Blech. And then my uh, Tempest Rocket, a single shot, but it's on a two plus. <laughs> one more minus one. Hey. Hey, he makes the save. All right, so each of us lost a plane. Sing fire. So flyers, uh, we're in the end phase now. Yep. So flyers come off during the end phase. They go back into reserve <sighs> with their remaining friends who are still alive. So now we score and we're going to get two each for having our home base objectives and you're going to get nine for having the central one. Orders phase. So we're placing orders on everybody and then rolling for initiative. I have an advance order on the Kratoses. I have a first fire order on the Dreadnoughts. I have a advance order on the Rhino detachment and on the tactical detachment inside of it. And I have a march order on the Marines, the assault Marines. Uh, advances on my remaining Storm Eagle and the guys inside. Oops, on my Thunderbolt. Because you have to. I've got a charge on my Velatari. I've got an advance on my Sentinels. 
Uh, I've got a charge on my Charonite Ogrins. I've got an advance on the garrisoned um, Tercio, a charge on this Tercio, and an advance on my Knight. So he's going first. And a five. Four. Oh, hell yeah. Come get some now from the space truck. We're gonna walk <laughs> over here with the Kratos's getting ready to melt a gun, a building into oblivion. Wait, this Tertio, they're withdrawing from the building. Hell yeah, you are. I know what you're gonna try and fill it with. I'm excited about it. Oh, shush, don't worry about it. All right. You don't know anything. <laughs> I say this with love. He said as he ran away from the central objective. Yeah. <laughs> and occupy it with other people. <laughs> I see I see what you're doing here. Um, I have an advance order on my rhinos, so I cannot quite get there, unfortunately. Oh, nuts. I know, there's no way to do this. I, I have one way of doing this, but it's not great. <laughs> the spacemans with jump packs, and they are going to triple move as that is what they do. And Here they are going the, to triple move, but they have to stay within six of a rhino. The biff naked. They are going to biff naked this way, I think. And be underneath. And the Marines inside also issue the, do their order and it's an advance, but they're just inside the rhinos. Into the building. So you can only make a single move unless you end in base contact with an enemy model member. Charges No, either... it's not charge, sorry, uh, march. March, okay, okay, I was, I was like, what? Yeah. So they're making a march order, so no shooting, but they're now in the building. Go with Team Rhino. So uh, the first one has to come out, which means it's gonna be two inches of movement. So it can move seven more. And it will. Uh, they're gonna go seven more over to here, staying within six of their buddies. The other one's gonna cost four to get out, which means it can move five more. Going over to there. Brownies will get out. Because of course they will. You are placed within an inch of your disembarking vehicle, and if you haven't activated yet, you can still activate, but these guys have already activated because their assault marine friends came with them. Yep. Okay, then I think we're going to overwatch you. Use their advance, uh, and they get to shoot you with their bolters. What As the you rhinos, come out, would they be overwatching? They're a separate or? attachment. Oh, okay. So they're not, they could overwatch if I wanted to, yeah. but I'm not gonna do that just yet. Sure. Um, I'm just gonna do the bolters. The bolters are tactical legionnaires. They have one shot each on a five with assault and light, which means I just hit on sixes. So four shots on sixes, but I reroll my ones because of my um, special rule uh, of like being close range brawlers. Oh, uh -oh. I have bad news, that's, that's four hits. Because mm. that doubles down because of assault. So no AP, just four six up saves. Mm. You just run out of the building and I gun you down as you go to the doors. <laughs> this feels like a real like, like uh, charge of the light brigade that just happened here. You just run into my guns. Uh, how, oh my God. All sixes, do it. Someone has to survive to fight later. Uh, one, one guy, guy. Does. <laughs> Yeah, the legate in charge of that tertio is like quickly finding himself alone. He's only fighting one guy right now. <laughs> it's just Marines on Marine, or Marines on legate. I'll have to deploy, so I'm just gonna show up over here because I become a hover when I place my unit. Touch that edge yep. and then make his move. Do his move, he's gonna go probably his full 25. Try and get so, him my rear arc. Yeah, that's gonna be 18. Plus another seven. Because you actually gain some movement and you get to make a 90 degree turn. A yep. little bit of movement by coming in sideways like that. Oh, yes. Back arc, so I can't see you. Yep, hitting on minus two. I sure are. So six is hit. Uh, you know what? I could overwatch with these guys. Sure. I won't be able to move later, but I could overwatch with my missile launchers and try and shoot you out of the sky on sixes. So don't I? Uh, it's at the end of your move. It's after you move. Okay. So I and I interrupt your move uh, okay. when I do gotcha. Overwatch. Sure. So to try and save my Storm Eagle, I am shooting first this turn, so I could also opt to not do that and pray that the interceptor. The only interceptor is only hitting on sixes. I'm gonna let you do your interceptor and hope that this works. Sure. Do your interceptor on sixes. Hell yeah! Ooh. Hell yeah! Nothing. Ooh. Also, you only had once. You had five dice, not ten. Oh, you know yeah. what? Yeah. Well, I will let you roll fifteen dice to try and hit me with. Go for it. No, you know what? <laughs> You're right. You're filming it. Wow. Wow. 
No, go for it. Do your five nights. Call fine. me a cheater. No, I'm not really a cheater. I'm just cheater. saying I'm going to give you the do-over. I said I'd give it to you. Have your do-over. Roll well, five extra dice. You mock well, me. five extra dice. I take time out of my day for this. <laughs> out of my day. I know you do. Show me five sixes now. Hell yeah. There's Four sixes. It's a gift on threes. And on fives I save. It's good! Five and six. We lived. Oh man, I hate that Thunderbolt. All right. Uh, so, but I didn't blow my Overwatch that way. Marines who can advance, they're gonna advance this way. I don't think it does really anything for me, but I'm gonna advance over this way to hold the objective, not be in line of fire of things, and attempt a whole lot of shooting you with missile launchers. <laughs> I walk five over here. All right, I'm gonna do my... I'm all done, by the way. I think everybody's gone who can go for me. Yeah, so I'm gonna do my Sentinels. Okay. Uh, save a seven inch move, but they're just gonna go there. You can see through friendlies, right? Within your own unit? Within your own unit, yeah. Because you're in motion. Big guy. The big boy. I like, there's just like a random pirate knight hanging out with you guys. Well, I cannot remember the legion or the, the house name that allied with the Night Lords, but there is no official color scheme for them. It's just like, I don't know, this looks cool. It's a pirate. Yeah. And we are done the movement phase. So it's on to the combat phase. Uh, first fire. It's just me. Yeah. Uh, they didn't want to activate the Ogrens. Oh yeah, they're charging, Jesus. Because we already measured that. Okay, so then I am gonna overwatch into them. Yeah, yeah. Six plus cover save as you come through this to, to come towards me. Yeah. So my last cannons overwatching are at minus two to hit. So I believe even with accurate, there's still just sixes. On sixes, but I reroll. Nope. Uh, and then my assault cannons uh -oh. uh, on sixes. And I reroll ones because of my legion roll. I miss completely. First fire. First fire, so we are on to combat phase. <laughs> Who would like to fight first? Uh, left to right, right to left. Let's do the Ogrens just so I can feel good about that combat, because this... Because this poor fuck <laughs> This is bad. He's not gonna, he's not gonna do great. <laughs> All right, um, so then I have Adretti. Uh He has a calf of plus four, which, or plus five, sorry. But you did charge him, so you get 3d6. Yep, we got 3d6. Plus three, plus, plus four because he charged. Plus four, nice. I got a 15. Uh, I got a Fourteen. eight. Yeah, uh, plus Nine. four, right? So yeah. Eight, 13, 14. Wow. So yeah, I got 15. Yeah, so I lost a guy. Next up, same uh, thing. And it's a different combat, so I'm not getting extra dice. No, nope, it's just always gonna be a 3d6. So there's four of us against four of us. I got a nine this time. Uh, I got a lot better than a nine. Now, then you kill this one. Yep. All right, back at you. This time I got a nine again. Uh oh. Better than a nine. This is not going great. <laughs> and then the last one, we need to roll <laughs> average here, guys. How about an 11? Uh, I can beat an 11. No, you got us. All right, uh, so I've lost by three. Well, is at three plus, uh, but I'm broken because I'm down to one model. So two dice pick the lowest. I pass both, so we just stay in combat. Two, because your, your calf is plus two. My calf is also plus two, but you have rend on your axes, yep. which means you roll 2d6. Uh, uh, or sorry, 3d6, 3D6. sorry, six. to my 2d6. Yes, yeah, so I'm normally calf one because I charge them calf That's two. right. I got a eight. <laughs> you got a six. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did just watch all of his friends die. I it mean. It kind of tracks. Yeah, that's. I don't, I don't feel like that was inaccurate. To, he had a hard time walking over the corpses of his friends. Yeah, Dice Average said I should have won, but but the reality of the situation is. Was, was worse. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we're into the advancing fire step. Now yes. I have, I have some things. My heavy, these heavy sentinels are going to jack up this formation if I don't yep. do something. But I also might get completely obliterated by Avenger cannons yep. if this happens. Storm able to get some shots in. I think that's my best bet there. Uh, he's gonna start shooting like before he dies. Uh, I'm so, in your back arc though, dude. But I'm, I have tons of things in my front arc. Oh, right, you're not shooting it. <laughs> I can't shoot it. I, I so just keep I, assuming you're only gonna shoot the... Uh, I, I don't have the ability to, so I'm gonna shoot other things instead. Yeah, hell yeah, go for it. Uh, so my Vengeance Launchers or Tempest Rockets. Okay, so I have two shots, or one shot with my Tempest Rocket. I think everything goes into the Ogrens. Like, I don't like the Ogrens. Well, so two, anybody... shot, two shots of my last cans and the Ogrens on fours. Yeah. 
Both miss. Ten foot tall beef boys <laughs> with breaching equipment. To one hands. one tempest rocket on a two hits. Hey. So one save at minus two. Which I, uh, you have you have cover because you're in the rubble at least. So you get a six. Yeah, uh, yeah would have been anyway. No. Well, minus two, you wouldn't have anything. Yeah. So you lose one. Heavy builder's not within twelve, so he is all done. You shoot the Kratos. Uh, so I should. You can see one of them for yeah. sure. Uh, yeah, I got range. What's range of your guns? Uh, 12 for the thermal lance. But not the super version. No, Just I need basic. to be within six. On fours with the melt lance. The thermal lance, sorry. Both miss. Light, so it won't do anything to vehicles. Yep. Uh, well, then we're going to go with the Kratos's. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with the Kratos's. Uh. Um, they are going to, they have point defense on the heavy bolters, so they're going to fire into the Ogrens. Yeah. Because they can change their targets. Uh, I always forget about the hull mounted heavy bolter. It also has point defense, so it's also going to shoot the Ogrens. So that's going to be two, four shots, six shots from heavy bolters into them. That's going to be on fives. So this is fives into the Ogrens, just one. Uh, but I can reroll ones because of my Legion trait. Two, two saves. At no AP. No AP. So it's still six plus saves. Nothing. And they're down. And then everything else is going into that building. It's because the only thing that can go into the building that actually damage it is the melted blast gun. That's what's going into the building. <laughs> so there's two of these things. Uh, they hit on fours, but this Civitas Imperialis has a five up armor save and two wounds. Anything inside the building when it's destroyed takes a save at minus one. And if it fails, it takes, uh, it doesn't matter how many wounds it does, it just dies. So from the, uh, the bunker busters on fours, only one hits. Uh, so you don't get a save because your save modifier right now for the um, Melted Blast Guns is minus four, which mm -hmm. means uh, uh, minus eight. So it takes a damage and none of my other guns can hurt it though. So they're just shooting into the infantry. Okay. Cannons, uh, it's going to be, there's two Kratos Last Cannons and two Sponson Last Cannons. So they're all identical and accurate. So that's going to be four shots from Last Cannons on fours. Uh, minus two is sixes, but they're accurate. So I reroll. So just one, one save, no AP. So, and you have a four plus cover save anyway. Yep. Nope, you're good. Uh, and then my uh, auto cannons, I have two Kratos auto cannons and two coaxial auto cannons. So the coaxial auto cannons is four shots at five minus one. The Kratos shadow cannons are the same thing. So it's going to be uh, four shots from those and then four shots from the ones that are on the spawns. And so eight shots total on fives goes to sixes again because you're in this cover. So I'm not good at hitting. Uh, I'm not within six, so I can't reel my ones. So that's it. Taking a wound. One more wound and it will collapse. Mm -hmm. Shooting at the rhinos. Go for it. I'm assuming the rhinos are a size two. Uh, they are bigger. Yeah, yeah. They are a rhino attachment at size two. Yeah, scale oh, two. So I can't hit them. Uh, all right. So we're going to do... The anti-tank uh, missile. That's four shots. Hit on fours. Three hits. Three That's hits. not good. Uh, minus one AP. So five plus saves. A pass one, fail two. So they're destroyed. And two. You can't split fire. Okay. You're not, you don't have point defense, right? And it's not one. One attachment, unless it has the point defense rule, or you're a war engine, and you can just split up all your guns. Yes. Yep. We're going to fire some frag missiles at you. Nice. Fill the eye with frag you're missiles. Sixes. This is it, sixes. We got four shots, though. Frag missiles in the air. Frag, 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 frag. Hell yeah. Make a save. Shoot them out of the sky, Marines. I kind of hope you do. Shoot them out of the sky, Marines. No. Now what's your roll? Five. Yeah. It's H. Vader time. Now, are you in 16? I think you probably are. Uh, base, we'll put you uh, in. You know, <laughs> you know what? No, only give me my the 20 inch range one then. No, no, you already fired them. We fired them again. Okay, fine. Do it. No. You get five shots. You just can't okay, do that, my bro. <laughs> I'm into it. You only have five shots, remember. So I'm taking too many shots. You only have one play I just left. like looking at dice. He's like, <laughs> he's just, just putting all the dice in your hand. I'm into it. Just leave me alone. Uh, so you get five shots with that, and then you've got your, you took a bomb run, home. and your last cannons. So five shots on, what is it, fours? Fives. Fives, okay. Uh, but rapid fire. So two hits. Two hits. Two three plus saves. Yeah, with Come on. Uh, minus one, but no, it's light AT, so it doesn't do anything. So it doesn't do anything. So I pass fail, so I get my jinx save. I'm good. <laughs> so it's two dice hitting it's on two. Two or just one? Two. Okay. Nothing. And nothing hits. I lived again. You've got your advancing to the rear legate. <laughs> I don't think yeah, anything else. Anybody. Okay. He's hovering, which means he actually doesn't leave this turn. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have two. You're gonna have the same thing, yeah. So you're gonna go up again by 11. Orders phase of turn three. So revealing our orders, I have a first fire on my Kratos, a charge on my Dreadnought, an advance on my Storm Ra or my Storm Eagle, and over uh, first fire on my those guys. Uh, an advance on my Marines and a charge on my Assault Marines. It's on my Sentinels. Uh, I've got an advance on the Tertio. I've got a charge on my Knight. I've got a first fire that in retrospect, I don't think it's gonna do much for me. Uh, and I've got an advance on my Thunderbolt. Okay. Three. I got a five. Three. That right, goes to me. So in the movement phase, let's see who's going first. This tactical detachment, and to no one's surprise, I'm going to occupy this building with them. And then we chain activate to the assault marines and they will charge 14. So they get to go three and then eight is 11 and then three more. So they're gonna go pile onto these sentinels. Yep. Because of course I am. Uh, and because I have jump packs, I can actually go further if I want and ignore. I hope turn. my sentinels. I do so. It's happened once. It has before. happened once. Yeah, <laughs> they don't. They don't love fighting the sentinels. Ew. Back to me. Sixteen-inch charge into yeah. the Kratos. Ugh, I'm gonna Overwatch. It's it's not great, but we're gonna Overwatch. So, yeah. Because we end up fighting no matter what. So let's overwatch. We're hitting on sixes with basically everything, but we're rerolling ones. It's going to be the thermal monster guns on you sixes. Hit, you do every gun in the overwatch? Yeah. Holy hell. Yeah, yeah. Everything. It's, it's your only shot for the turn, right? Yeah. It's my suit to hit. So sixes. I got one. Uh, your ion shield, though, ignores my AP. So yes. do your thing. Make your uh, save. My ion shield's on a four plus. It is. Ready to take a wound. Uh, yeah. No, I take one. So you got two left. And it's all the last cannons on sixes, but they're accurate. So you have to reroll my misses. One more save. You good? Fine. Uh, then it's my auto cannons on sixes, and I get to reroll ones. So just one save, but you get your armor against this because yep. I lose my AP because it's light AT. You're fine. good. Um, and then it's my. I think the heavy builders don't do anything because they don't even have light AT, I don't think. No, they just have light, period. Yep. Uh, and that was the auto cannons, the last cannons. And that's it, so I'm done. That was all the shooting. Next. Well, I mean, let's just try and body you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Charge over here. And the Thunderbolt, because yep. these guys are, are doing first fire. Gonna do the tertio. No tracks. Uh, they're just gonna go five. Over here. And making sure they stay in range, and they do. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm a skimmer this turn, mm -hmm. which means I don't have the flyer rule because I'm hovering. Yep. So I'm just gonna skimmer over to here. Be like, I dare you to come on. Shoot you with that missile launcher wherever you come. Wayne, come on airplane. I've survived this long. I like that we're playing like this like weird hunter thing right now with each oh, other. Oh, it's the best. It's there's. Fly it, it's, 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 it's hunt for the October, baby. Danger zone a little this bit. This is yeah. weirdly submarine <laughs> combat. This is very, very air combat-y. Yeah. your bombing run. Yeah. I mean, you could still come after me because yeah. it's just, it's rear arc three inches through the bombing run and it attacks anything and the structure it's in. So you can fly over these Marines. Yep. And then pause your there. move and do the bombing run attack against the building and the Marines. Yeah. So as you fly go. over it. Like uh, there. However far that is. Uh, I mean, I could do it. But then you can't get to end the move, pause the move, and then make the attack. Yeah. Uh, I think you can only do that attack once per move, though, right? Yeah, that's it. It's yeah, once we're, per so we're doing it to these guys. Cool. So might as well. Okay, let's see what that full move is. Because I only <laughs> got to be within three inches. Yeah, you got lots of room. Just, just like move it over. And as long as the building's within three, you're attacking it's it. It's like that's 18. So back like two, and now you're in range. Okay. So you've gone 16 so far of your 25. So you have nine inches left. Yep. Building at your full dice value, and then the guys inside at half your dice value. Collapse the building. Okay. So not a set of dice, but if it could kill the building, that's a big deal. So two dice on. Force. Force. All right, so you blow this building up. Uh, one hit. One hit. All right, so what's the AP? Uh, the AP is minus two. Minus two, so it's got a five plus save. It doesn't get a save, it just takes a wound. So the building starts to shudder. <laughs> it only has one wound left. And then he has one die against the guys inside. 
uh, which hits. Does it have? Uh, well, I got a four plus cover save. Does that ignore cover? No. Nope. Okay, so I got a four plus cover. Yeah, I'm good. But the building starts to shake and collapse. Uh, Return, and then you got nine inches of movement left. Basically stopping right there. Oh, I love this guy. He needs, you have to put kill markings on your plane every Hell time yeah. we play. We've done all of our movements. Yep. Uh, so we are on to the combat phase. No, I would stay because they advance. They can still shoot. Uh, I mean, so sure combat phase, go starting with first fire. So you have a first fire over here? First fire there, but now it's all you, light weapons. Oh, it's all light weapons, so it won't hurt the dread because yep. he has armored. Yep. It's combat, except for I have first fire over here. Uh, and who would they want to shoot at? What's your scale on him? The knight. The credits is scale two. The fight knight is a scale of quattro. All right, so you're bigger than me, which means I can shoot into combat with you. So yep. I'm gonna go with first fire over here and they're gonna fire their missile launchers into yep. this thing. Hit because you are big, but my anti-tank shots are on fours normally, goes to fives. I hit you once. Uh, it is AP minus one, so you will get your ion shields on a four. No, down to one wound. Fire for them, doesn't happen. And then anyone nope. else have first fire? I don't nope. think so. So we're into combat. I have the initiative, so I can pick the combat we do first. I wanna do this one first. And I'm gonna pick for you to fight my Kratos before you fight backstabby knifey man. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so go ahead and fight the Kratos. It's only plus three. It is rents, you're 3d6. And a calf of eight. Uh, up to nine, because I charge. Oh my God, so plus nine to your 3d6 roll. I'm plus three to my 2d6 roll. I got a 10. Yeah, I beat that. You got a 22. Uh, so how much, do you have anything that does extra damage? Uh, so I just take a wound. If it was the Thunderstrike Gauntlet, it has Wrecker, which Got maybe it. does. Got it. So now you have to fight my Dread, yep. who has a 3d6. So do I. Uh, yes, but I'm plus 5, plus 6 because I charge. So yep. I'm a little closer now. I'm only plus 8 against him because I didn't charge him, That's right? That's right. No, no, you're still, you still charge this turn. So oh, okay, still so still plus, plus 9? Plus 9, yeah, Okay. Plus 9. You have the charge order. Oh my god. That's so you get good. a 20? That's 15, 21. 21. Oh my god. 21, I'm plus 5. I could beat you, you could. if I roll a six, six, five, six, six, four. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. Oh, that's a that's an eighteen. Yep. So I do have an invulnerable save of six plus. I did. I still. I died. wanted you. <laughs> I, I wanted you to kill me because that would have been hilarious. That would have been funny. Combat, uh, because you you did a wound and I didn't. Yep. Actually, I think it's slain models. I think actually we draw models, so it doesn't matter. Because it wounding this and then slaying this would break the tie. So whatever my morale is, uh, it's 2d6, or I'm not broken, because I'm not below half. So it's 1d6 morale. Uh, I don't know if I'm a two plus. I'm a three plus. E6 plus my movement, and I might leave the table. <laughs> I go 13 inches, which is not good. <gasps> table edge, which is not ideal. Uh, and I'm broken. <laughs> ah! They're just withdrawn. They're not actually broken, because they only you only make a morale check as per page 64, when you take shooting casualties. A withdrawal move, you're not destroyed if you go, if you hit the board edge, you just stop. Uh, shooting ones that happen in the morale step, you then become fleeing, and then you make a double your move towards the table edge and can potentially go off the board. Uh, so now we're on to this combat over here. Yep. You piled in because you had an advance order. Oh yeah. So, or did you have a first fire order? What was your order? Uh, it was advance. Okay, yeah. And you have to split them as even. Or no, you had first fire because you first fired into. No, nope, they absolutely advanced. They had advance, okay. Yeah, because because I didn't know where anyone was going. That's right. So. Yeah, yeah. So they're just you're, you're two on one. Of me is the important thing. Yeah. One on the left first, I guess. Sure. Uh, and I am calf plus five, I think, charging plus three, and then plus one again. Throw on auxilia heavy sentinels. Okay. Yep. Uh, so you get to roll two d six plus zero, and I roll two d six plus four. Yep. But with the swing nature of this, this could still go your way. I get an eleven. Roll a 12, no. <laughs> so one of them dies, but now you're at 3d6. Oh, we were doing this one first, right? It doesn't matter which one, I don't really care. No, yeah, that's fine. And then the next one, so you're at 3d6 plus zero, and I'm at 2d6 plus four. I roll 14. No, oh. down you go. The assault Marines are getting their work done. Second one, you're back to 2d6 for the first combat. I'm gonna get a 13. Eight. That's a 10. Eight, sorry, yep. And then the second one, you're at 3d6. I got a 13 again. Oh, you wiped him out. I did. Uh, and that is the end, I think, of the assault phase. We are on to the advancing fire step. I'm going first, and guess who's advancing fire into this thing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stormy, this is your moment. Uh, so first things first, you are going to fire, your heavy boulder's not in range. Uh, your temp rocket, however, is on a two plus. 
don't screw this up. Please screw it up. Ah, two plus and minus two. Ah, it doesn't make it. And then Jink. Uh, I don't yep. have I don't have Overwatch. No, and he's gone. And that was Skyfire, uh, and then doesn't matter for my blast guns. Back to you, Advancing Fire. You've got some little tertio over here you can shoot? Nothing could shoot. Okay. No, I'm done. Uh, I've got these guys who can fire, but they're not in range of anybody. On three scoring, you've still got 11. Oh, no, sorry, you've got nine now for the middle. Yep. But I have the far and the close. Yep. All right, orders phase, sorry, uh, end of turn. Uh, I can put this back into flying if I want, because I haven't dropped somebody off this turn, so I think I will remove it. We're into orders phase. There's down, I've got an advance order on them. I've got a charge order on these guys. I've got an advance order on the tactical detachment and an advance order on the assault detachment. Got a charge order on the knight, a first fire on the tercio, <clears throat> and an advance on the tercio. I got two. Oh, please. It's your turn, buddy. Please. Get it, get it's it. It's a four. It is, all right, so initiative goes to the solar auxilia. Bam. Oh, that tracks. All right, well, overwatch. It's only got one wound left, we could do this. So first, the big melt of murder cannons on your iron cans will your iron screens will kick in for the somebody eat sixes. Yep. No. Nope. Four last cannon shots. These are accurate, so I do get to reroll my misses on sixes. Three cool. saves, baby. Cool. Well, four plus for your ion shields. Come on, nightly. I'm gonna shoot off your legs. <laughs> You're crawling towards me. Just do it. Three four pluses. Nah, I failed it. Then he goes. Would have been so good. Yeah, but you keep me off the objective, it's gonna win you the game. Very good player. You are. <laughs> that was clearly this what was, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. plans within plans. Yeah. Layers. Uh, I'm Shrekking this. Uh, You're Shrekking the hell out of this. <laughs> this is lots of layers. Um, Onions, okay. baby. Yeah, well, I think uh, <laughs> it's my advance now. So I'm going to walk these guys into range. We're gonna string them out a little bit. But these missile launchers need to be ready to fight. All day, air day. I need every point I can spare here, so I gotta hold this objective still and shoot missile launchers at you, walking yep. five. Advance the rear slightly. Yeah. Oh, I know what you took. You took be alive in your deployment zone at the end of the game. What? I no, hunt I just... them down. No, no, no. You're standing defiant, aren't you? No, no. I know how this works. No, no, no. That's okay, I got a space plane with your name on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a problem. I can't do anything with that. Uh, so we're gonna show up over here. Now that the skies are clear, I can see clearly now that Plane is gone. <laughs> I'm gonna start over here and go 25. All right, I see what's happening here. Let me chase you with the space plane. Um, so that's done. These guys can't activate. They're on first fire. It's just these guys. I'm just gonna shuffle a little bit because I need to take the middle at some point. So I'm just gonna walk. I wanna stay within three with the assault marines because I wanna score this again. Mm -hmm. We're gonna leave this death trap of a building. Walking five. <laughs> To maybe be able to charge next turn. I just don't want to be within 10 of you. No. And that's all mine. Back to you. I think we are into first fire, but you have one. I got one in first fire, but there's nothing in range. Okay. Uh, Combat, so it's into advancing uh, fire step. Who would like to go first? You can shoot me down. No, Do you have, ten, you have a 10-inch range? I have 10-inch range, but they're light weapons. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna this, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, just double check. Yeah, light ignores cover. Light. What like, about the pistol? What about the? Do I have to fly it like over you to use the Volkite pistol? Oh yeah. Because it doesn't have light. Volkite pistol. What's the range? Volkite. No. Can you imagine both, he like Jokers me in the amazing, sky. But they're like, both light. Ba like you Batman 80, 89 me. <laughs> That'd be so good. <laughs> he just pulls the gun out of his pants. Bob Gun. <laughs> it's all the in flashlights. Yeah, like, I was gonna say this is the uh, this is the uh, this is the Arkham Asylum prison gang. Yeah. <laughs> what you got down here. Uh, uh, these, this is the Joker gang. This is the Joker gang. Jumpers. They do wear the jumpsuits. Yeah, this could definitely be the Joker gang. So I am going to, I guess, shoot you with them then. I mean, you should. I should. It's what I should do. I can't shoot my Kratos because they've been running from Daddy Faja Long Legs over there forever. Mm -hmm. uh, so I do get to use my heavy boulders for the first yeah. time ever, which is three shots. On fives. I got one. I'm not within six, so I can't reroll that one. One regular old save into that unit at Tertio over there from the Storm Eagle. Oop, no. There's one. Uh, then my Tempest Rocket on a two. It hits. Uh, no, no mods to your save, though, because it's got any tank. I mean, my save's a six. Whoop. And then Wind Mounted Last Cannons times two on fours. <laughs> two more hits. You get your save. Come on. 
This guy's got his, his super save, though. The double ones will not do it. Get executed by a plane. Yeah. Uh, all right, then it's into these rocket launchers firing frag missiles that the people hold up in our in our building. You kill half their friends in an airplane accident, so they're not very happy with you. Uh, the missile launchers do get ignore cover, which is nice. So we're gonna get four shots because oh, nice. there's two stands. So I'm not getting my... Uh... You get your regular armor save of six plus, not the cover yeah, save. Yeah, that's cool. But it's still minus two to hit, so it only hits on sixes. Nice. Oh wait, it ignores cover. Does that ignore the mod? That ignores, ignores the hit mods too, so fours. Uh, that's going to be two hits at minus nothing. So just your sixes. Oh, fail, fail. That. And that's all my shooting. Uh, so we score again. I'm going to get seven to your nine again. Yep. It's these guys in the building. Is I it? think you've got this though, because I don't think I can take it from you. One way of getting to I it. I only need to be in range of this, right? Yeah. You can, you can leave the building. Well, first we issue orders. All right, uh, so it's round five, last round of the game, and it's initiative. Let's reveal our orders, because your phase is done. I have an advance on the Kratos. I have a march on these guys, because they are barely still able to do it. If you killed one stand in the squad, they wouldn't be able to take that order. And then I have an advance on this tactical detachment and a charge on the assault marines. First fire. Hell yeah, you do. <laughs> All right, tanks gonna go over here. Uh, they're gonna we go didn't eight. roll initiative yet. Oh, that's right, sorry. I guess, I guess it matters. Sir. I mean, it massively it doesn't. It changes nothing. <laughs> it changes They're not moving nothing. anywhere. You can't move, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go eight over to here. But I am a stickler for the rules. You are, you know, I've known you for years to be very rules oriented. Uh, you have first fire, so you can't do anything. So this is the important thing. I need to triple my move so I can go 15. So as many people as possible are climbing into the ruins over here to get within range of you. I can't shoot my guns. But I can be in cover, and I can be within three of this darn objective. Is the is the point? Stay in our range of the building, and then it's just and they're done. You could snap fire right now if you wanted them. Let me get my. But then you can't. Hit. Yeah, and then you can't shoot later. Yeah. Might as well wait. Okay. Uh, then the storm eagle comes in, as it do. I was just gonna park on top of you <laughs> for a final bombing run into you. Yep. It can't hold the objective, so yeah, there's that. And then these guys are gonna, ah, I can't do this, I can't move, because then I lose the far one and I need it. So these guys just mo creep forward, because they have to stay within six. So I'm gonna move them to there, instead of charging, so that this guy stays within three. Yep. And then these guys are gonna creep up so that somebody's within six and everybody Keeping else is within coherency. two. So I can maintain that coherency and try and get a couple extra bolter shots into yep. them. That's all I can really do. Eight. Then it's your first fire. So yep. you first fire. So you have the one shot. So I'm gonna do two flamers. Okay, and this is all into my uh, It's all into squad. The, the missile yeah. guys. They are the ones who hold the most, so you need to kill them. So these are hitting on fours. So one, one hit, uh, no AP. Okay, so it's gonna be a five plus armor save. I'm good, God. that's a five. Uh, one Laz rifle, misses. Uh, Volkite Charger, and Volkite Pistol Hits. does hit, minus one AP. Minus one AP, okay, uh, so, yeah. so I get a five plus armor save. Nope, I'm sorry, six plus armor save, and then a five plus shrug because of my Medicaid. No, I'm gonna lose a stand. And it doesn't matter who dies, uh, but I am broken now. Uh, if I take any more casualties, I might have to make a morale check. You kill objective, fine. It just means I can't do other orders, but it's the last turn. It's not gonna super matter. Done three casualties, I might have fled. Yeah. Right? Uh, so now it's just everybody I have shooting. <laughs> Can the Kratos do it? Uh, they have a, on the last cans, it's 22, so they'll be in range. The auto cans is 16, so they'll be in range. Everything else is out of range. Four auto cannon shots. I'm minus two to hit because you're in cover. So sixes, one hit. And your cover saves a four. You're Love good. Uh, then it's four last cannons, one hits. Oh, sorry, I get to reroll three of them, though, and the three will fail. Uh, that's going to be just one hit. Okay. So one more, one sand dies. I think that's all that was in range, because the last cannons could fire. Oh, I have two more auto cannons sets that are accurate, though, because there's also the Kratos auto cannons. And these ones reroll on sixes. Uh, so one, because the Sponson ones are not accurate, for the coaxial ones. That one goes down. And then it's just the space plane. Uh, so we'll make a morale check, go for it. Uh, oh, it's a uh, 2d6? This is 1d6. Just the 1d6, yeah. in case they failed it. Okay, so then at the end of the, so they get a flee order. Not fleeing, but I do keep shooting them until they, they fall back because they don't withdraw me because it's not a combat. Yep. So the Storm Eagle is going to fire his heavy bolters with three shots on sixes. 
Uh, we're rolling ones because I'm within six. Oh no, sorry, uh, vehicles don't get that. No. Just the one. Uh, it does not have exploding. You're good. That one I save again. My last cannons, miss. And then the Tempest Rocket hits on a four, you with the minus two. That one goes down. No. Uh, it's just these Legionnaires. There's three with an eight, it looks like. Yeah, because the back guy's not in. So that's going to be three bolter shots. All of which mess. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not my Leggett. Where's my Leggett at? I killed your Leggett. He was the one that running towards the stable wasn't he? No, he was, they were... Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, because you popped them out. I, yes, I gunned yes, them down yes, with a yes, space yes. truck. <laughs> so during the morale check now, you're going to move double your distance towards your table edge. Yep. Uh, do I leave first, then move? Uh, you just measure from the building. Oh, from the building. Yeah, okay. so you move 10. And then we score at the end of the round. So now I have to figure out if I can pick up this vital objective or not. I don't think I do. You'll get no VPs this round and I'm gonna get the full gamut. So I'm gonna get the nine plus two plus five, which means 16. You didn't get your secondary because you're not your deployment zone. Uh, you can try and rally these guys though. You can definitely yeah. try and rally. So hey. whatever your morale is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so these guys are the ones who go back to tell the story. <laughs> this one Solar Auxilia stand. <laughs> you got 40 victory points over the course of the game. I, with the 16, I got 34 because I didn't get my vital intelligence. I would have had third, I would have had 44 if I'd been able to capture this at the end of the game. So you holding this building as long as you did. These are the guys who get paroled. That's it. They're gonna, <laughs> yeah. No, they get to lead the next charge. Yep. Your, your convict army basically is the uh, the, the heroes because they held off the, uh, the uh, Sons of Horse long enough. Yep, until reinforcements arrive. This is the most pyrrhic of victories. Um, so even though you have one stand of solar <laughs> left, uh, you, will, you will take the field 40 to 36 at the end of the game. Huzzah. I'm so happy that that the boys from Subblock Four basically took the day. This was the most this was the most robbed victory you could have possibly had. What happened? The best. Everyone died. Oh yeah. And yet I won handily because oh, everyone started died. Started strong, ended wrong, baby. <laughs> and one base left. What did we have? You had I had, I had a Storm Eagle left, yeah. which which I was, was a miracle it survived. I had both my Kratoses lived. Yep. We using Overwatch judiciously has been like a, a thing I'm realizing too. Mm -hmm. Like you have to be willing to sacrifice that combat phase shooting yep. to protect yourself from those like horrifying charges. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, like just all of the like all the little nuances of the independent operators. Yep. I had um, I had my whole except for their rhinos. My whole tactical detachment survived that mission. Yeah. The two assault marine stands. This is the first time we've ever had them do anything too, yep. because usually they get like they they charge mm -hmm. in someone in a building and a bunch of like just basic He's auxiliary kills. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but catching a, a, a sentinel squadron in the open was what they're designed to do. Yeah, and we didn't have what happened when you and I played like our first ever game of this, which is off camera. <laughs> yeah, the and sentinel you just killed my and you killed my off. commander. <laughs> I rolled double ones, and you rolled double six, and you just kicked my commander's head off. And I'm like, what? My army commander just died. So good. <laughs> it was really good. Um, the two d six swing for the combat thing was really was really neat. It was really yeah. handy. I think I, I think both of our favorite parts of this game so far though was the air combat. Was the the way that the dog fighting worked like that like play counterplay of the planes? Yeah, in fact, like it feels like it's there's another game going on on the same board, but it doesn't take away from everything else going on. Mm -hmm. And the way you have to plan for those turns is just not the way you plan for any other unit to activate in yeah. that game. For the same points, I can have my Xiphons and have two, I and have Rhinos for the other Meh. detachment. And I think in retrospect, until I'm playing a bigger game, I would probably do that. Because the Xiphons also have the interceptor rule, mm -hmm. which means I can play that like chicken and egg game with you. And then I uh, that will probably be what I, b between now and the end, because you're going to paint your tanks yep. for the next time we play. And you've also got like some more stuff like Titans and stuff we can bring in. Because we'll probably yep. do quite a jump next time. We'll probably jump to like 15 Yeah, I think so. Because like 15, we get what? We get 450 points of allies. Something like that. Because it's, what, 330 for a Titan? I'm just thinking, could you fit your Titan and a Knight? Or could you fit two Knights instead and not take a Titan? Which would probably make more two sense. Two Knights you could is 360 uh, before any upgrades. So you could do four Knights. Because it's 360, they're 180 each, right? But I think the cost goes down the more you take. I think it's 180, and then I think it's 180. Like, adding yeah, two is you less. You might be able to get three. I don't know about four. Well, because... It goes, what, 360 and then 540 would be your next jump. You can definitely get two. Yeah. Because it's 450 is the next jump after that. Yeah. 
But you could do two and then like some space marines. You could take like a little like Night Lord. Oh yeah. Like like I overseer just, cadre. I, I, yeah, I want <laughs> to bring the whole theme of this list to bear, which is mm -hmm. penal legion allied mm -hmm. to the Night Lords, because mm -hmm. who else would? I mean, technically right now you're loyalists I mean, when we fight. Penal legions are, are loyal too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you could be I, loyalist night lords. Yeah. You should. You know what you should do? You should do like a teeny little detachment of something that is loyalist, like field police. Do like the rogue trader field police mm. in like the black and red. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. And have them be like the overseers. That would be a cool deep cut that people wouldn't be expecting. Yeah. And they were beakies. I should, oh, right. Because, yeah, they were in power armor. This was when. That's right. Yeah, th this is when space marines were psycho indoctrinated. And just criminals. use the Night Lords rules for them. Yeah, why not? Like, be like loyalist Night Lords, but be field oh, police. That's kind of interesting. Because you can be like Judge Dredd. Especially because I'm doing the. It, it's a Solar Ox army with 30%. Yeah, it's a little small contingent. It's just the watchers. It's the guys who are like watching them and making oh. sure that they're doing what they're told, basically. This is I love this idea. The, the head cannon's writing itself. Because mm. <laughs> I, what's funny is I've used no allies yet. So for me, it would be like reorganizing and I've painted up a bunch more stuff. Like I've already got my tank company painted. I can reinforce my tank company. I liked the Kratos actually. They were a lot more durable than I thought really they were good. going to be. Yeah. So I might, I was thinking of saving my other two Kratos to do in another army, mm. like a loyalist army. Cause I should do like a loyalist Marine army at some point, but I could but also just four Kratos them. is kind of fantastic. Four Kratos is a lot. Well, and I could put, I can mix their guns. Yeah. So I could add the long range guns like the Kratos battle cannons to yep. the next set and that way I can cover myself as I advance. Well, and that's similar with my knight. I was running that thermal lance, which is a cool weapon, mm -hmm. assuming something's in range and adding in another knight and doing some mixed uh, yeah. long range weaponry. I liked mixing their guns more than I thought I would. I like yeah. mixing the auto cannons and the last cannons and having them kind of be a little bit different with like yep. the main guns being the same thing. So I might do that again. I might paint two more Kratos's. And just like gear them with longer range, like yeah. hull weapons, just so they can, the, the company can kind of cover itself. Absolutely. And then do the same way with my predators, do my next few predators with the last cannon turrets mm -hmm. as opposed to the auto cannon turrets, and mm -hmm. I can mix those up as well. My initial thought was to keep the turrets off of them so I can swap the turrets between games because you can swap the turrets on the yeah. predators, but also maybe not. I might just glue them because <laughs> like I'm they keep falling off on me. To glue them. Yeah, I yeah. might just glue them instead and just and, like. And I don't know that something that's, I mean, I guess you could magnetize them, but like. Yeah, so, but I could also just glue them yeah. <laughs> and then not lose my turrets. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, no, I like that idea. I haven't used my Terminator because I finished my Terminator company. Mm -hmm. I finished my um, my Xiphons are also painted. There's a bunch more stuff painted that you guys haven't seen yet. So when we go to that, that point jump, I might do that. I really want to. I really want to do knights too, but I also want to paint something weird like a dire wolf. So we can have different kinds of Titans. Mm. You know what I mean? Paint something that's like kind of weird and different. Yeah. I don't think we're able to quite jump to Reavers yet, are we? Because Reavers are 450. I think if we took a Reaver, that'd be all we, all we were taking. Oh, yeah. If, if that's how much they cost in a 1,500-point game, that's that's yeah. it. That's it. That's all and, But, I mean, the force <clears throat> multiplier of a Reaver over a, a Knight? Yeah. Like, my goodness. It'd be a big game. Yeah. It'd it, a big it's game. a significant jump in power and utility. Yeah. Yeah. And my loyalist... Army's probably going to be my auxilia. Because I also have to paint. I got to finish my other auxilia. I got paint blades to paint. I got some other stuff to paint too. So anyway, 1,500 points will be the next one. This was our first, like, you had a box of guys when you left here last time after we played our Tembo games. Um, and yeah, and we're going to jump in for more of this, which will probably be a minute. Like, it won't be like right away because we get the holidays coming up. And yep. you know, we'll probably get together in January. Yeah, sounds about right. See each other. Sweet. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for coming in and painting. Absolutely. Bye, everybody.